What is happening, you beautiful bastardos? Welcome back to, well, not welcome back because this is a first, but welcome back to the Grateful Panic Knife Reviews channel. And uh, welcome to the first of hopefully many uh, podcast style format videos. Um, I wanted to try this out to A, try something different. Uh, kind of mix it up and B, kind of give back to you guys uh, because what I want to do is uh, start doing at least one of these a week, probably just one of these a week um, to kind of personally, uh, verbally and, and, and on video respond to comments on other videos. And I figured in order uh, to try this out, it would be a uh, good idea to go with the comments that were made on the Dalika video because there were some good comments made and uh, I just I figured it would be for good content it would make for good content um yeah I'm doing weird stuff uh, so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna go through and and pick handful of comments that were made on that video and basically respond to them and you know show you some appreciation for taking time out of your day to watch uh the trash that i'm uploading and and to actually uh comment on them oh oh you know what i would be remiss if i did not at least do a quick panic dump and beverage check uh today i'm carrying the Asher Knives uh, flashback, and uh, this is an actual, actual, an absolute, uh, stupidly awesome knife, um, especially for the price. I think if you use the 10% discount code, which sure all of you know what that is, uh, it comes out to like 30, around $35 for uh, some Sandvik 12C27N and uh, G10. And uh, just all around wonderfulness. Um, that's about all I got on me right now because I'm just bumming around the house <clears throat> trying to uh, get this shit show straight. Uh, the beverage for today is a little delicious IPA from Stone Brewing Company. And uh, it's some pretty fantastic stuff. And But I just noticed, I've drank this plenty of times before, I just noticed that it is gluten reduced uh but oddly enough there's a disclaimer on the label that says crafted to reduce gluten this beer was fermented from barley a grain containing no gluten and crafted to reduce gluten which you already said the gluten content of this beer cannot be verified and this beer may contain gluten uh, some mumbo jumbo double talk but anyway, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and send a big old hearty, uh, grateful panic cheers <clears throat> out to Sobic Scooter. Um, he is a uh, a newish family member that I have come to look forward to seeing in live streams uh, really cool guy very very active uh, amongst the YouTube community and uh, I'm shaking stuff all around and his support is greatly appreciated so uh, uh, brother Sobix cheers my friend oh and also as a little uh little reinforcement to the delicious IPA. We're also having some delicious uh, Balaton chocolate whiskey. Uh, this is caramel turtle. So it's got a little chocolate caramel and pecan flavors going on. And it is delicious. So another cheers to you, Sobex. <sighs> mm, golly, that's good. All righty. And I know I'm wearing my 
a big old bulky Princess Leia wig. But for some reason, my Bluetooth uh, earbuds do not uh, jive with StreamYard. So, hey, what can you do? <clears throat> All righty. And these are in no particular order. I'm just picking and choosing randomly as we go through here. Uh, so the first comment that we're going to read comes from Brother Rick Kearns, who says, Well, now we are in the presence of greatness. We can no longer come back any time, nor is it any longer our house. I don't know if I'm worthy of even typing this congratulations message. Yours seems even more special than others I have seen. That knife is truly worthy of being on that gorgeous piece of leather. So, till it is framed and mounted, guard it well. I don't want to take up any more of your obviously precious time, so congrats on this monumental achievement. And if I didn't know you any better, Rick, that, that might have cut kind of deep. That you would ever think that you or any of you guys could no longer come back any time or that this would ever not be your house because this is always y'all's house. You're always welcome back anytime. And, uh, yeah, you're definitely worthy of typing that congratulations message. I don't know if I'm worthy of receiving it, but I will, uh, I will receive it, uh, very gratefully. And, you know, <sighs> There's one part in here that, well, several parts, but there's one part that, that through all the joking and, and tongue-in-cheekedness of, of this comment that kind of has a little glisten of your true feelings, and it says, yours seems even more special than others I've seen. And I honestly feel that you meant that, and you meant it in a very, very good way. And that really makes me feel good, Brother Rick, that that you would think that and uh, and would think enough of me to say that. Um, so thank you big time for that comment, man. It's much appreciated. The next one comes from uh, a fairly new ish uh, member of the GP family, Blaze Berger. And uh, a little something about Blaze, me and him have kind of. Uh, well, I consider it a friendship. We struck up a little friendship on Instagram, uh, ha had some messages back and forth. Uh, Blaze says, the lightsaber of our generation, wield it well, wield it proud. I will do my best, uh, Brother Blaze. I will do my best to bring great honor to you and the rest of the family. Um, every day that I do wield this very, very honorable uh, weapon and symbol of the EDC community. And I say that jokingly, but it kind of is. Uh, Kiefer has <clears throat> made this kind of an institution in this community, and it's really cool what he's done as far as kind of taking a, what some would see as the most, the silliest a uh, piece of cutlery uh, humor, maybe uh, a wannabe knife. I don't know. Just taking this ridiculous knife and turned it into a very coveted uh, piece of cutlery. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen anybody want such a, a poor excuse for a knife so bad before and, and I, I say that not um in reference to uh Kiefer's uses usage of it but you know just in uh, practical use it it's not a very good knife and you know he's made people want it simply because uh, him presenting it to you really does feel like an honor it really does feel like dang, I must be doing something right. Like he thinks enough of me to include me in on this. Like, wow. And that's uh, another thing that's just uh, so amazing about this community is that people can take the simplest of symbols, the simplest of, or the simplest of objects and turn it into a symbol of 
of just uh, almost status, um, even though I, I don't see it as, you know, much of a status as an I'm anything. It's just somebody has enough, they get enough enjoyment out of something that I do that they want to tell me that. And uh, I don't know that. It, this this was definitely an honor. I mean, um, and not in a cocky, conceited kind of way, because I honestly don't deserve any of that. But it just feels good that somebody thinks I'm I'm good enough at, at something to um, let me know, you know. But uh, thank you, Brother Blaze. I, I appreciate your comment. And uh, like I said, I will, I will do my best to uh, to honor all of you guys. As I wield the Dalika. Huh, all right. So this next one is from one of our all-time favorite people in the community. Just hands down. He's an awesome dude. He is the butt of all our jokes. He is the abbot to everyone's castell. He's the he's the curly to everybody's other two three stooges. Um. And that is a uh, friend, KC of the Nice Fast Channel, who says that was unreal with a heap of exclamation points behind it. And then great job and welcome. And thank you for that, KC, because uh, I, and I'm sure you don't know or would believe this, but uh, your comments, uh, they really mean a lot to me you are important to me and not just as the butt of my jokes, because uh, the only reason you're the butt of my jokes is because I respect the hell out of you. And I think the world of you and I'm privileged to uh, be able to call you my brother. And uh, I love you, man. And thank you for all that you do. All right. Okay. <laughs> this uh, there, there was, I don't know. There's just so many good comments on here and like every single one, I want to be like, okay, this one won the internet that this one won the internet. This, this is a, uh, this one right here is a very strong contender for winning the, the inter internet. And it comes from juggling ninja or juxtaposing ninja or just ninja. Uh, but JN says, dude, congratulations. It's thrilling to see your achievements as a human being par excellence go not unrecognized one minute more. And that's what I'm talking about right there, man. Like that That's good shit. Just <laughs> this is why you guys are, are the best friends, family, subscribers. You're, you're just awesome. And uh, I'm thankful every day for you guys. But he continues with. Seriously, you had me cracking up, up, down, and side to side, integral, integral, however you say that word, other words that sound fancy, be jealous of my Dalika, no joke though, bro, we are, cheers to you and that cornerstone, that foundation and pinnacle, the alpha and omega of humankind's technical prowess, and that, <laughs> that right there should Kiefer, if you're if you're watching this, and I hope you are, is there any chance of having Dalika T-shirts made with that right there printed on it? The cornerstone, that foundation and pinnacle, the alpha and omega of humankind's technical prowess, right right across with Dalika with all that. Just dude, that that's epic right there, and I, we need to figure out a way to make that happen. I'm gonna do some research. And, uh, yeah, cause <laughs> that's, that's t-shirt material right there. And that's why this is definitely a contender for winning the internet. And, uh, I appreciate your comment ninja and I appreciate you and everything you do. Uh, you're another one of those super active, super supportive. Always see them in the live streams. Uh, just, just a great dude. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him. Cause he's awesome. Uh, but thanks Jan. Appreciate it, man. Um, Oh, and this is another person that we all know and love. It's everybody's favorite big brother. Uh, yeah, I, 
not older brother, just big brother, because he's got a kind of got that big big bro vibe about him. But uh, this is from Tim, or as most of you know him as Monster Racing Thirty Eight. But but honestly, if you don't know him by uh, you know by his first name, then do you even YouTube, bro? Because uh, everybody knows Tim. Um, he's the greeter. He's the uh, like I, I think I told him once before. He's like the dude. Uh, the the kindly old, which he's not a kindly old gentleman. He's just a kindly dude, but he he's like the kindly old gentleman that that stands at the front door of of the church and greets everybody as they come in and uh, escorts the older ladies to their seat and gives the little kids little cinnamon discs and and uh, the striped peppermint candies and um just makes everybody feel welcome. That's that's Tim right there, but he says. You got to install the custom thumb studs. And I hate to disappoint you, Tim, because I would really love to do so. But I'm pretty sure that it is a uh, it's a rule in the Dalika Club handbook that you cannot install the custom thumb studs until the original uh, thumb studs fall off of the knife. And I think that is for a number of reasons. Uh, one reason is the material that the original thumb stud is made from is just such a precious material uh, that you need to have time to enjoy it. You know, you need to spend time with it, getting to know it, uh, getting to know its, its wants, its needs, its desires, its insecurities. Um, and also I don't think one can truly appreciate the Delica until they have carried it long enough and used it enough uh, for that very very durable thumb stud to just fall off on its own and it's kind of a, a rite of passage once your thumb stud has fallen off and you've replaced it with that uh custom thumb stud then it has become your dalica until then you belong to that dalica um so you know it's it's a process and it, we do we do not question the process we just we go with it and we appreciate it and uh when the day comes that that original thumb stud does finally fall off and i can install uh the fantastic custom thumb stud there will be pictures there will there will probably be a video and I, I will notify you before anybody else, Tim, just because you uh, posted this comment. And what he says next is honestly 100% true. It says it takes it from just a plain old serrated Dalika and turns it into a custom Dalika. See, the thing is, even as a plain old serrated Dalika, all other knives basically cower in its shadow because they can never hope to be 1% the knife that the Dalika is. Um, like I said, the Dalika has the, the ability to cut reality. And when you have a knife that uh, has that kind of power, I mean, that pretty much puts the fate of the world in your hands. Whereas, you know, if you did not quite appreciate the power of that Dalika and you just threw the custom thumb stud on it willy nilly. I mean, you might be that guy sitting in your basement, uh, putting on lipstick while listening to boy George and writing down names of all the people who have, uh, wronged you in any way. And that's a scary person for that kind of power to be in the hands of. So, you know, you got to appreciate the power before you can uh, make it even more beautiful. And then he continues with, I thought you were already a member of the prestigious Delica club. <clears throat> and Kiefer sure goes all out with the membership certificates and the COAs. And he does, like I said, dude, and this is me being for real now. Um, like I said, Kiefer has created this kind of juggernaut of goodwill and positivity um, presenting people with what most your average everyday person would see as a, an insult or joke or like you making fun of me and, and it's literally not like he has turned 
the Dalica, the, the Dollar Tree plastic and stainless steel knife into kind of a status symbol like where where you uh when you receive it it's not it's not a status symbol as in man i'm hot shit you know i got the dalica i'm i'm a badass it's more of a a symbol of you you get it and it's like man like people accept me like i i'm i'm accepted in this community and and uh like i've got the dalica to prove it and it really makes you feel good it it uh it, uh, it, it's it's indescribable, really. Tired Gomet, look at me. I'm shaking the camera all about, all willy nilly, if you will. Um, and then he continues with, "Welcome to the club, Brother John. I would have written your new born again name, but I wasn't sure how to freaking spell it. Well, I don't even know how to freaking spell it, and I freaking made it up. Uh, but I think it's it's spelled uh, Great Fullicus Panicicus. Uh, but you have to spell it with that. Uh, in, in there and i don't really know how to write that in words uh and then he says great great video once again brother john well i thank you tim i appreciate that man and i pre always appreciate your support and your encouragement and your uh <clears throat> your awesome comments that you're always leaving and the fact that you do welcome everybody when they come into a uh, live stream and uh, you're always asking about how they're you know how they're doing how they've been if if you know for a fact that they've had some some problems, you know, with health or, or whatever you ask about that, how that's going. And if anybody's still having, you know, troubles, you always, uh, make it aware that, uh, they could use our thoughts and prayers. And so, you know, from everybody in the EDC community, I uh, appreciate you, man. Okay. Uh, our good friend, our captain, our fearless leader, everybody's favorite hula girl, Jody Bear, a.k.a. Big Red EDC, says, Welcome to the club, Brother John. We embrace you and welcome you to the fold. And that right there makes me feel like I just joined a cult, Jody. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I'll make sure not to drink the Kool-Aid uh, because... That's just what I hear. You're not supposed to drink the Kool-Aid in Colts because I don't it, maybe it, they don't use the right amount of sugar. Um, doesn't taste right. I'm not sure what the reason behind it is, but they say don't drink the, the Kool-Aid in these Colts. Um, but no, all, uh, in all seriousness, man, I appreciate that. And I welcome your embrace. But like I said, don't don't squeeze me too hard because lunch did not agree with me. Uh, but seriously, thank you for the welcome. Thank you for all you do. Uh, hands down, you are the most uh, passionate, generous, uh, thoughtful. You're, in my opinion, and for what it's worth, you are the hardest working uh, person on YouTube. And uh, we appreciate the hell out of you for that, Jody. Thank you, man. Brother Bill, or uh, ProX1840, as we all know him by said and, and this is good because when i watched uh after i film uh recorded the intro and and edited everything and i kind of i watched the first part i was like oh dang what like what if somebody thinks that i'm about to be the bearer of bad news even though you know i'm gonna try and make the title positive but still, somebody might not read the title. They might just get a notification if they have the if they have rung that bell and just say, oh, there's a new video and, and start watching it. But I said, but you know what? I, I think um, it, it'll be quite clear very, very shortly that it's not a bad thing. And that'll make it even funnier. But he says, dang, man, you scared me at first. I thought something was wrong. And this just tells you right here that. <laughs> He's a member of the fam because he knows me way too well. Then I remembered whose channel I'm watching. LOL. Um, congrats on the new membership. Now don't hurt yourself with the Dalika. And see, that's, that's a real thing right there. That's a real fear because me, knowing me more than likely, uh, I would injure myself severely uh, with that Dalika. And I almost wish that this had happened back when the old fateful magic thumb injury happened. Because, oh, 
that's that's a funny story um because i would have attributed attributed that to the dalika as a joke and anyway i did attribute it back when it was still very gory looking uh, i posted a picture of it and said something about um and this is what happens when you try to use a KME uh, sharpening system clone. And I had people very concerned. Whoa, what happened? How did that? Oh, my gosh. And then I had to, you know, look, show them what a dummy and asshole I was to get them all worried by telling them what actually happened. And it was a whole thing. And I swore never to do that again. So even if this was still a thing when I got the Dalika, I wouldn't have done that because that was horrible. Even though I did it in the intro, made everybody, th or at least made Bill think something was wrong. Um, and I'm sorry about that, Bill. And I appreciate you, man. I um, appreciate how quickly you have taken to this uh, community and how you have shown what an awesome, very, very uh, fitting member of this community you are. And I hope you're doing well, man. Uh, reach out. Let somebody know you're you're good because we, we were just talking about you in, in the live stream earlier that we haven't seen you in a while. Then, uh, which to us, like missing one live stream or uh, or so is, is a long time and we get worried. But um, hopefully you're doing well and just let us know something, man. Um, and the next one comes from ID Wolverine. And... I like this because he does something that I like to do and that's you write a sen sentence by and putting you put a period after each word of the sentence to emphasize what your <laughs> your your emotion behind it and he says brother that intro was the period best period ever period and thank you man I appreciate that and I know it it wasn't literally the best ever but uh, hopefully it brought you a little bit of joy and entertainment and gave you a chuckle or two. Um, and then he says, all hail great Fulicus Panicicus. And you know, you don't have to hail me um, unless you're hailing me a cab or something if I need a ride, but no need to hail me, man. I am not hail worthy. I'm not a hailable entity. Uh, I'm just me. But on the other hand, if you do want to kiss where the ring would be, if I had one, feel free um you don't have to uh, i mean we probably won't be as good of friends as we would have been if you had kissed where the ring should be but uh but no all, all joking aside man i appreciate you and I, I appreciate your comment and uh thank you for for the chuckle oh brother worm jeremy spaulding says truly a grand honor I'd be remiss if I didn't say I was a touch jealous of this. You have reached an incredible place in the EDC world. And honestly, I have. Uh, and not an incredible place as in, you know, uh, high and lofty, I am so awesome. I have been presented with this award. An incredible place in that uh, I feel very welcome and accepted. And uh, it's by a bunch of people that I truly respect and, and love with, with all of my heart. Um, and there's no better feeling in the world than that. Uh, so thank all of you for that. And thank you for that comment, Jeremy. And he finished it finishes by saying excellent stuff, brother John. I don't know how excellent it is, but, uh, like I said, I, I hope it brings you guys at least a little bit of enjoyment brightens up in a day that might otherwise be, kind of blah, uh, gives you a little laugh and, uh, you know, anything to add a little bit of positivity to you, you guys' worlds. Uh, Christopher Tank says simply, no higher honor could be given, dot, 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 all caps, Dalika. And you're right, Chris. Uh, I don't think any, any higher honor could be given um, because Kiefer has really He's created a, a, a juggernaut, and uh, uh, it's completely just – it's an amazing thing just what he has done with a, a knife from Dollar Tree. When speaking of that, I know there's a comment about that later, and it, it cracked me up good. 
Um, oh, this and this person, I know I'm going to screw up their name, and I feel like we should be basically kin as as long and as often as I've seen him in uh, the different live streams. But Jeroen Voss, I hope I said that right, says, I bow. I, I bow for thee, O great master of stainless. Finally, you have your first grail knife. May the minor lords of 1095 be your humble servants. And that, I mean, that's just funny. I don't care who you are. That, that is, that's a funny comment. And it definitely made me laugh uh, back when I read it the first time. And it's still putting a big old goofy grin on my face now uh, because that's just good stuff. Um, I mean, there's nothing more to say about that than, that's that's another contender for uh winning the internet uh so jeroen if that is your real name or if i'm pronouncing your name right uh i appreciate that man much much appreciated and everybody's favorite little original prankster michael morgan says some men go their entire lives and never find their grail you found yours in your mid sixties. Consider yourself lucky, Michael. You got jokes, don't you, buddy? <laughs> Pretty funny ones, lucky for you. But uh, yes, yes, I did find my grail in my mid sixties, and and I am uh, I'm happy as hell about that. I I do consider myself lucky. Uh, but seriously, Michael, uh, thank you for your comment and all your other comments and your support of of this channel and every other channel out there and the community as a whole. Uh, but you do need to get on, um, on some Instagram. So, you know, we can like actually talk to you other places besides, uh, live streams and comments on YouTube videos. Just saying, just putting that out there. Don't wait till, uh, next year when you're in your mid sixties to join Instagram, buddy. Uh, Stephen Howell, and I still feel like I have a speech impediment when I say his last name, and it's not your name, Stephen, it's me, says, I presume you have already been honored to actually possess the rare and nearly unobtainable Z Hunter with all of its attended glory. All hail the twice benighted. Well, I'm sorry to say, and I've got to be completely honest with you, Stephen, I have not been honored to possess the rare and nearly unobtainable uh, Z Hunter, because for me it it remains unobtainable. Um, so and that would make me uh, a once benighted or besmirched or behooved or be something. But um, I'm honored that you would think that. But I, in no way, shape, or form, have achieved anywhere near that pinnacle of, of success. Uh, but thank you for your comment, Stephen. I appreciate you, man. It's good to have you in the family and uh, come check us out on, on a live stream again, man, because I've been enjoying uh, having you in the, the live chats of the, of the lives, man. Um, the next one. And uh, this, this comment is, I don't know. It, it, it kind of gets you right here because, I mean, even if it is kind of tongue in cheek, it's still an awesome comment. But if it's not, it's which I, I think it is at least a little bit tongue in cheek. But this is uh this comes from from good old bees, bees blades. And Brother B says that was by far the best knife unboxing I have ever had the privilege of witnessing. I am honored to have shared in the glory of the unveiling. Thank you, brother. And. Uh, he's just such an all-around nice dude that he, he, I believe it's tongue-in-cheek, but I believe that for him there is a little bit of truth in there because, I mean, I don't know. He's a very complimenting, very – I mean, all you guys are so awesome. You know, and Bees is – he's one of you. He's one of the good ones. He's hes one of the reasons that I even do this in the first place because, you know, people like him, people like all of y'all. Um, and I know that was nowhere near the best knife unboxing you've ever seen because, and if it is, uh, 
give me your email address because I'm going to send you uh, the links to some actual good knife unboxings uh, because if that's the best you've seen, you ain't you ain't seen a whole lot and you need to see more bees. And I, and I worry about you, my friend. I, I'm, I'm really concerned and I'm, I'm I want to go to any length to uh, to help rectify that this situation in your life, buddy. <laughs> but uh, seriously, man, thanks for your comment. I appreciate the hell out of it. And speaking of. You speak of the devil and he appears. <laughs> you speak of shit and you step in it. Username Kiefer225948 says, What an awesome unboxing. What an awesome knife. Welcome to the Dalika Club. All hail the Dalika, Kiefer. Uh, and like I've said uh, several times so far, you have created just a, an amazing uh, juggernaut of positivity with the simple knife from Dollar Tree. And, dude, that, that's a task of, I mean, dude, that's an accomplishment. Like, you need a Dalika or 50 presented to you just for creating this thing. Um, but, yeah. It, <laughs> thanks, man. I, I just, I don't know what to say, but thanks. And, and we're not worthy. Uh, you are one hell of a president and uh, you know what I, I'm you're not even a president you are uh, you're the emperor of the Dalika Club um, the undisputed emperor never to be replaced uh, of the Dalika Club and we the, the entire knife community appreciate you because they love this they love seeing people get this thing and they they love seeing their reaction to it and you did that man so I appreciate it, and we all appreciate it. And then comes our good friend, Pat, of One Minute Knife Reviews. And Pat says, and I'm going to have to, you know, Pat is a very, very intelligent man. Uh, I mean, <laughs> dude, he created an entire channel around basically doing a 360 view video of a knife for a minute. And he, he turned that into an entire YouTube channel. and has a really cool thing going and if you don't follow him you need to go subscribe to his channel because it's good stuff uh, but to be fair to the rest of us when you go subscribe to his channel you have to start at the beginning and watch all of his vi videos from the beginning because i'll be damned if you're gonna just go subscribe to his channel and just automatically get to hear his voice like that that's not fair dude that is not fair so uh you know be a decent human being and watch from the beginning. Um, but Pat says, I'm, but like I said, he's a very intelligent man and I'm going to have to uh, correct him on this. But he says, wouldn't that be great Fulicus Panicus? And no, Pat, it wouldn't because uh, panic has a uh, ick syllable built into it. So if it was great Fulicus Panicus, that would make the original name Grateful Pan, which is the much more thankful brother of Peter Pan, who is honestly, he's the only lost boy to have made it off the island and uh, never to be seen again. So to try and, and, and put on the mantle of, of Grateful Pan uh, and take over where he left off would be very presumptuous of me. And I shan't not do that. So um, it will have to be grateful, grateful, Panicus. panicicus. Um, so hopefully that, that explains um, that little uh, bit of confusion. And he follows that up by saying, really enjoyed the unveiling. Let me tell you. And he does, <laughs> he, he does uh, quite a lot. And I enjoyed reading all the comment. He, I think he had conversations with, a couple of people in the comments on here. I know uh, at least I love knives. Jeremy had a conversation with him uh, and I swear there was somebody else. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll come across it, but just immediately after that, another comment from him, congrats brother. And welcome to the Dalika club. And uh, I mean, that's just, that's just cool stuff right there. Seeing, 
somebody you, when you see people carry on conversations in the comments like that that's just that's awesome right there that's people getting into it um and not saying that you know that video or me doing that video was anything to get into but just the uh community as a whole they they really get into it and they're very enthusiastic about it and it's it's freaking awesome so uh thank you pat and uh you keep on doing what you do brother because we all appreciate it man and now this actually uh might be and it's the whole it was the whole interaction it was just too simple it was a, a comment and then a response to that comment and that might win uh the internet for this comment section and the comments from average knife guy and he says and i'm gonna have try and say it like i think he was thinking it in his head when he wrote it or typed it he said is is that the knife from dollar tree and the response from Kiefer is a very very uh resounding yes it is and that's exactly how i i saw that conversation going down is 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 that the knife from dollar tree yes it is so of course my response was yes it most certainly is said proudly with chest poked out um but yeah, so I'm I'm gonna give that and not just the comment, but the comment and the response. That is the winner of uh, the comment section for this video, and uh, that's awesome. <laughs> you guys kick ass. <clears throat> and let's see. I believe we might have. Ooh, I'm running short on time, but I think we might have. No, we, we've got time for, for several more because uh, there's just some good ones here that can't be skipped over. Um, but the next comment comes from Chris Wolf, who says, Thundercats, ho! If that don't give away my age, or yeah, if that don't give away my age, lol. Well, that gives away both our ages, Chris, because I uh, I was right there with you. And not, they weren't reruns. They were, that, that cartoon was airing as it was put out. Uh, then he goes on to say, congrats, brother. Much love and respect, my friend. Loving that tie-dye for sure. Keep on keeping on, brother. This is awesome. And there's another one that's so uh, positive and encouraging and just an awesome member of the community and makes me uh, proud to be a part of this family. And I hate Russian, but... We're running short on time. I wanted to keep this less than an hour. I wanted to keep it less than 45 minutes, but as long winded as I am, that ain't going to happen. Uh, and this one is from Todd Porter, who says, you're so lucky. Now all the girls will look at you. LOL. And then he says, I want one before some government asshat bans it. And that's, that's, a, that's a legit fear, man, because uh, let one little government asshat as you uh so accurately called them get wind of the power of this dalika and it's bye bye dalika uh especially because the perceived power which is the fact that it can in fact uh basically rip reality from the face of the planet and uh destroy everything we know is nowhere near as great as its actual power of uh, bringing a group of completely different human beings together as a family and uh, make them want to support each other and have each other's backs to the end of ends of the earth. Uh, anything that can do that, that's some that's some pure power right there, and uh, that. Kind of makes the Dalika the most powerful knife on the planet. And honestly, Todd, the Dalika has nothing to do with why all the girls look at me. Uh, it's that's just my uh, <laughs> I can't even say that shit with a, a straight face. Uh, no, they don't even look at me with a Dalika, much less without one. 
Okay, and this was this was another contender right here for uh, it. It made me laugh. And this comes from I Love Knives Jeremy, who says, "I'm lactating for you right now." <laughs> Rumor has it that the plastic it comes in is 50% sharper than the blade, which is true. That's some sharp-ass plastic right there, man. Uh, it's dangerous. And he says, I've only had the horror, I mean honor, of seeing one of them in the wild. Congratulations on everyone's grail. And it is a grail. It, 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 is, it is much sought after. And it is a grill, but I just, I want to address the fact that this man is lactating for me. Um, I mean, of course I'm too young to remember, but I don't even know if my own mother lactated for me. And, and even if she did, he's literally one of two people in existence, uh, that lactated for me. And that, that's, that's big, man. Um, I, I, I appreciate and, and bask in your lactations. And uh, I just want to say <laughs> thanks, dude. <clears throat> and then we have another uh, another comment from Pat, who's I think um, I think he's and I do this a lot, too. I think he comments as the video goes on. And I think that's pretty cool because I, I love reading those kind of comments because you it's almost like watching the video again yourself. But you're seeing it from somebody else's perspective. But he says the most sought after knife in parentheses award on the internet. And honestly, I, I feel like it is the most sought after uh, award as far as knives go in the uh, in the knife community. Oh, ugh. I am shaky, shaky, shaking the camera. But that and that was a comment on uh, Jeremy's. Th this is where him and Jeremy had a, a conversation in the comments that I thought was I, f I actually felt I commented myself and I felt like I was intruding. Um, all right. And then we have, uh, let's just do one more and this is from Jason, uh, brother beard, AKA Jason Brown, who says, can you imagine if you transformed into a Dalika more like a GoBot than a transformer, which is true because the GoBots were the Dollar Tree version of the transformers. Um, he says, now that you, <clears throat> now that you made it to celebrity status, I hope you don't forget about us little people. Congrats, brother John. Congrats. Okay. Well, there's some dude, uh, calling me by my first name in the comments section of this, of, of my video. I don't have a clue who he is. And frankly, I don't know where he gets the audacity to even speak to me, much less call me by my first name. Who are you, dude? Got a Dalika. <laughs> but thanks, Brother Beard. Uh, oh, he also says congrats. And oh, yeah, we read that part. But he says take care. Uh, and you take care, too, brother. I know you're going through some stuff right now with uh, with your health and some some pain and, and suffering. And uh, I hope that gets rectified quick, fast, and in a hurry because you're not you when you're hungry. Um, no, you're always you, man, but I just, I don't want you hurting. But, so that is the end of a very long, very shaky cameraed video. And uh, uh, if you guys liked it, let me know in the comments and we will continue to do these. Uh, and also, um, we might, we might do the, uh, question and answer, uh, videos in this format as well and not have to, which it does give some, some good content for the lives. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all with all my heart. Um, I appreciate you stopping by. And you're welcome to come back anytime because this is y'all's house. But until next time, guys, why don't you get on out there, EDC your ass off, and do something nice for somebody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.